The Immortal John Hancock here, and this is the latest from Broke Studio. This is a Kickstarter campaign that's just begun, and this is the Cursed Legacy. And this is a Sega Genesis game, and Broke Studio does lots of awesome retro games, and they've been very successful. This is their latest for the Sega Genesis. Can't wait to share it with you. And looking forward to showing you some gameplay. There's some different options, run and gun, story, exploration, and mini games. I'm going to show you the story, uh, essentially a full level uh, boss fight, and a little bit of the mini games. Uh, and you can check out the link is below to their Kickstarter campaign, and should be super successful. Anyways, um, I'm a big fan of Sega Genesis. I do several videos on my channel about Sega Genesis, everything from ranking to homebrew and aftermarket games. Uh, you know, the, the aftermarket scene for Sega Genesis is very lively and lots of new projects coming out. Really looking forward to seeing several of these. And you know, Broke Studio, uh, they, they did The Cursed Knight and they published that and looking and you can check out their website where you can pick that up as well. So yes, this looks great. It's a run and gun. You know, it's got a little bit of uh, Mega Man in it. And I'm going to share with you in a, in a little bit. It's got a little bit of Blaster Master in it as well. Oh, missed that power up. Oh, can't go back. So, yep, we're going to show you the level here. Nice, nice uh, run and gun here. There is double jumps. Uh, there is a roll uh, action. And I'll show you that as well. But yeah, I'm just the first time playing. I'm not doing too great. But you have a health bar. Looks like you get power-ups. Um, so yeah, all of that. So yeah, it's important that uh, you know that this game, off the get-go, pretty challenging. So there's save points, so that's nice. You don't have to replay an entire level again if you die. Uh, there's uh, movement all the way around, stationary position for fire. That's important. Like the animation, nice large sprite. So yeah, uh, are you familiar with Broke Studio? If you played any of the, the games, uh, they have had several successful Kickstarters, and this one will be no different. And so looking forward to seeing them uh, be successful with this one. It's going to be popular. Running guns are popular, indeed. Um, so yeah, just playing here, trying to get to the end for a boss fight. Boy, do I need health. Ah, that was just what I needed. So yeah, in the last part of this level, it's good to just progress through. I got a power up spread. So yeah, I'm looking forward to playing more of this and getting some different power ups and seeing some different levels. So I'm just showing you the first level. Lots of options on their Kickstarter. And so um, like their previous Kickstarters, you have some options on what type of preference of game you want, both physical and digital. So yeah, I'll get to the end here. So in the comments, definitely let me know. Is this a type of game that you would play? Is this a type of game that you're gonna pick up or interested in? You know, I'm a huge Sega Genesis fan. I definitely have played countless games. Uh, I have the US library and really love what the Sega Genesis offers. Really nice to see a vibrant homebrew and aftermarket scene. And uh, here's the first boss fight. Starts off pretty easy. You got a little jumping droid here. Um, 
That reminds me of like a droid from Star Wars, just like the Jaw was at the start of uh, of the of the story mode. Kind of interesting. So it starts off pretty easy, and then yeah, it offers these platforms. Definitely kind of takes me back to Mega Man. You get hit once with that beam, you're dead. So just a heads up. So yeah, if you're a fan of Mega Man, definitely getting some nods from that series. Gonna get this boss looks like. Alright. So then jumps right into the next level. And each level I like the I like the parallax scrolling there. That's nice. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> uh, each level, you know, introduces you to a new mechanic, and this one you can fire uh, right near a ledge. So you can roll, and you roll right up to the ledge. It took me a lot, a little bit to figure it out. Yeah, right there. Yep. So yeah, it's definitely a nice feature but it can become challenging. So um, I'm playing this game actually on an Ouya. <laughs> they sent me a digital ROM to check out. Wanted to just show it today because the Kickstarter starts today. And what do you think in the comments below? Let me know. Ah, getting worked here. All right, so the other part of the games are uh, exploration and mini games. This kind of reminds me a little bit of Blaster Master. You're in this like mech and then you pop out, you go here and you want to play the mini game. Yes. And it's got these cool mini games. This game right here, I'm going to show you. It's like a maze game. Pretty fun. Starts off pretty easy and it gets pretty difficult. So there's some variety here. Uh, it's not just a running gun. Looks like there's some exploration, kind of Blaster Master style. And uh, then you got these maze games. It's kind of cool to see uh, uh, a first person style game on the Sega Genesis, which is capable of doing one. And so that was just like the first level. There's some, you can do a, a random level, which they get more complex. And thank you so much. Uh, check out the Kickstarter, the link is below. I want to appreciate everybody viewing this video. If you like what you see, consider hitting that like and subscribe button and clicking the bell as I'm uploading videos every week. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. This is the immortal John Hancock, and you take care.